everyone, and welcome to episode one of basically a replay of Star Stable Online. So this is my brand new lifetime account. This is the only permanent alt that I have. Uh, the name is Abigail Pinehost and we're actually on Nightstar. So I'm very excited to be here and we're gonna do this episodically. I'm not going to do a playthrough of the entire game because I think there's a lot of content that I can kind of do on my own. So the series is gonna be maybe 15, 20 episodes long um, and we're just gonna do the quests that I find interesting or that I think will be helpful to you guys. But of course we have to do the starting quest because this is episode one after all. Right, we've, we've just gonna jump straight in. My horse is absolutely super upset because um, he hasn't been fed yet. Uh, his name is Tuxedo Time. I went for a different starter horse than I usually do. My usual is sort of the white starter horse, but um, I kind of fell in love with this horse a little bit. So we're going with Tuxedo Time and I think it's a cute name as well. Rightio, Justin, welcome to Moreland Stables. Oh, wait, I'm in the way. One second. <laughs> Here we go. So now you should be able to see the text as well as me. So that's great. We can see both things. So, welcome to Moreland Stables. I'm Justin and I run the stable together with my dad. Okie dokes, Justin. Um, I take care of my horses here and make sure each horse is matched with a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? Oh, I think we, I think we already met. Yeah, we did already meet. Why are you over there? Okay. Um, a new friend. Move closer to your horse and click the saddle to mount it. Let me introduce you to your new friend, Tuxedo Time. <laughs> I think he's a little bit invisible. I, I put the, on the, sorry. I put on the tack and the saddle for you already, so all you have to do is climb onto the saddle. I'm sure you and Tuxedo Time will be best friends in no time. Oh, heck yes. In fact, we are best friends right now because I'm already riding him. Wow, that quest was probably one of the hardest I've ever done. Thank you, Justin. Tuxedo Time looks happy to have you up there. Do you feel comfortable? I think you two make a great team. Thank you, Justin. Having a horse isn't the same as owning a bike or a car. It's a relationship. Ooh, okay. The more time you spend around horses, the more you'll see how much you have to give each other. That's quite good advice. Here at Malden Stables, we expect our guests to care for their horses, so let me explain the basics of horse care. Okay, my horse is absolutely, like, dying, so that would be really helpful if you did tell me how to do that. First, you have to dismount. You can't very well care for your horse up in the saddle. Do you mean I can't care for your horse very well? Was that, was that English needing to be fixed? Then open up your backpack so your care supplies are ready. I said this in the previous streams where I did these quests, but you used to have to walk over to the hay bale and pick up the stuff and now you just get it automatically. I don't know why they changed that, but finally give your horse hay and water, clean its hooves with your ho hoof pick and groom it with your brush. Let's actually take care of you, Tuxedo Time. Um, will I unlock Yalaheim today? Probably not because I was thinking... I can go to the vet and get this horse fixed, but uh, I'll probably do a little bit of questing to open certain areas um, on my own. Actually, it would be really helpful if you guys told me what you wanted to see in terms of what type of quest you want to see me unlocking areas, you want to see me uh, buying horses. I, can, I can't buy that many because my bank account is not with me right now. Um, I do have enough to buy maybe two horses max, but I really want the kind of more higher up higher up ones, and I have to buy a Sporkle. I can't not buy a Sporkle. Right, Justin, I took care of my horse. What do I have to do? Well done, Abigail. Now your horse feels better and it's happier. If you do this every day, your horse will soon become happy. He will run faster. But if you don't take care of Tuxedo Time, he will soon become sad and run slower. Surely a responsible rider like you would never let that happen. Right, who who here has let all of their horses get super sad? Justin, Justin's not proud. Especially not here at Moreland. I mean, I'm probably not going to be here that much longer. Here at Moreland, we always need help taking care of our horses. And now I know that I can trust you. Look at the notice board by the stables to see if there are any stable jobs that need to be done. Okie dokes. We update it every day, so remember to look at it every day. I probably won't do that. Thank you, Justin. Oh, cool. I've had added him to my thing. Oh, he's 20. He's like almost... Oh my gosh. I'm like closer to Justin than I am to like Alex. Oh, that's painful. Um, his birthday's August 30th. He likes lasagna. Is this Garfield? Um, hobbies horse breeding sims. 
Justin, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> Justin, uh, maybe you need to find another hobby. You and Tuxedo's time seem to be getting on uh, along great. I'm sure you two will be sweeping across the, the riding trails of Moorland in no time. I need to make sure more horses find their dream riders, but our stable girl, Maya Jew, can direct you to your riding lessons. She's outside this gate by the stables. I'll get it open for you. Okay. And I think there's meant to be a cutscene here. Yep, I, I know my stuff. Thank you, Justin. Oh, that gate did not sound good. You need to oil the hinges of that. Ooh, I like... Oh, that horse is kind of cute. Oh, that's a trackie, isn't it? Sorry, I'm horse shopping before we've even, like, properly started the game. Hiya, Maya. Oh, wow, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Maya, what do we have to do? Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you, Abigail. It's a great chance to come and... I'm gonna do voices for the characters. I, like, decided this beforehand. I'm gonna do voices. I'm not sure what voice I think... My she's like, um, and um, and. So I think she's... I don't know, but that's, like, just the generic voice for, like, all of the characters. So I don't know. Should, should she have an American... Should I try an American accent? Oh, no. This is not gonna go well. Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you, Abigail. It's great that you chose to come to Moreland. Welcome. <laughs> okay, this works. This is the ble bleh. This is the best place ever to spend your summer vacation. I'm doing a bit of work at the stables around here to earn some extra Jorvik shillings. It's always good to have pocket money. Come back to the stables later and I'm sure we can find you a job. Okay, thank you, Maya. There is so much to show you and talk about, but the first thing, you should go and speak to Jenna. She can tell you a little bit more about how things work here in Moreland. Okie dokes, I think this is where we learn to like gallop and jump, which I'm an OG player and I remember playing this and you never, you could never jump as a, as a non-star rider, but now you can. Um, I think it's quite nice. I certainly benefited from it on uh, the streams and stuff, um, but I am a star rider now, so oh yeah, I'm lifetime. Sorry, I didn't say that before. I snatched up the lifetime deal that was there a couple of weeks ago. Hi Jenna. I feel like Jenna... I would do a Jenna Marbles voice, but I'm not particularly good at it, so I'll do like, like an auntie voice. That's right, I'm Jenna, you must be one of the new arrivals. I'm doing a, I'm doing Justin's voice, oh that's not good, I'm not good at voice acting. Um, that's right, I'm Jenna, you must be one of the new arrivals. What can I do to help you? Oh no, what can I do for you? I'm great at reading. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Abigail. You certainly picked an exciting time to visit Jorvik. Normally, Thomas Morland likes to greet all the new guests himself, but right now he's dealing with a bit of a crisis. The horrible company GED is trying to shut down the stables. I'm sure Thomas will find a way to save the riding camp, otherwise your stay here will be short indeed. Well, Jenna, I'll come in handy, I'm sure. I shouldn't trouble you with that. You're here to experience Jorvik with tuxedo time. <laughs> That's a great name. One lap around the square track and come back to me. Okay. I feel like I'll do it at a canter because you wouldn't go straight into a gallop now, would you? Canter time. Oh, this is nice. I remember, oh, we're going a bit faster than a canter. Tuxedo time, you're out of control. Okay, back to a canter. I remember when there was um, poles. You couldn't like jump them or anything, but oh no, he's, he's out of control. This horse, I can't control him. You could like canter over the poles. I think you had, there was two stages of lessons you had to do where you cantered and then you galloped. Whereas now I, you can just gallop straight away like I'm doing now. Except my horse is very upset. Oh, why is the competition's results down there? <gasps> we have a problem, Houston, we have a problem. I don't know if you can see it right down here is the competition results. Um, can I escape? How am I supposed to do this then? It's because my resolution has been changed. Well, boy, do we have a problem. Because the thing will reset. Well, this is going brilliantly. Right, I fixed it. Uh, it was just I needed to relog. I didn't need to change the resolution, which is great. Uh, okay, right, we finished the race. Jenna, what do you need me to do? Fantastic. Nice work on the square track. You and Tuxedo Time really worked as a team. To keep it up. I think you're ready for some bigger challenges. As promised, you're now allowed to gallop freely outside the stable walls. Thank you, Jenna. Jumping your horse is all about timing. First, you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. You want to at least ride in a canter gait. Then you command your horse to jump, and with good timing, you should fly forward at um, over any obstacle in your path. I've placed a jumping obstacle in the middle of the square track. Try jumping over it. Okie dokes. Should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm actually, uh, first chance I get, I'm putting Tuxedo Time's uh, mane in a braid because I think that'll look really cute. Um, was this actually the coat I wanted? Yes, thank you. I know how to play Star Stable. Okay, 
We're gonna we're gonna do a fast canter or a slow gallop. Wee! Oh my god, I feel epic. Horse riding 100. Fantastic. You and Tuxedo Time did great. This is time for you to move on to bigger challenges. You mean Loretta? Are you calling Loretta challenging? You need a big, bigger challenge than a square track. The stable gates are now open outside. Just past the shops, there is a paddock. Ride over there and talk to Loretta. She was. She is a member of the Bobcats Riding Club and a great rider. She can be a bit grumpy with beginners, but never mind that. Ask her if she can show you how the competition works here in Moreland. Okie dokes. There she is. I was always really jealous of her horse. I really liked, um, because originally the white coats for the starters were really, like, dirty looking. I don't know how to explain it. But when I saw her horse, I was like, I want, I want her horsey. Uh, but hi, Loretta. I have a new kind of horse now. Hi. Have, right, who, who has accidentally said hello to this NPC? Because I have many a times. Yes, I'm, uh, I have to do, like, my mean girl voice. Yes, I'm Loretta. Let me guess, Jenna sent you over here to learn the fundamentals of competition riding. Of course she did. All the girls at Mullen Stables want to join my riding club, the Bobcats. Lesson number one, the Bobcats only accept the best. If you want to ride with us, you have to earn your place. Lesson number two, always be training. Competitions races are a great way to push your skills as a rider and help your horse reach its potential. You don't form a bond like m the one my horse Bar Bartok, what kind of name is Bartok, and I share overnight. Before we moved on to lesson number three, I need to see what level you are and what's your horse's name? Don't tell me it's Puffy Heart or something corny like that. Tuxedo time? Okay, I guess I can work with that. They changed it again. Loretta was really nice for a while, and now she's gone back to being mean. Oh, I kind of like that change. I kind of like that change a lot. Oh, I've leveled up! Yay, celebratory rear! Oh, geez, we'll know. I have, um, I have my club set up a practice course in the paddock. Don't worry, it's totally basic. All you have to do is pass between the flags in the right order before the time runs out. Let's see what you and Tuxedo Time have got. Yes, Tuxedo Time, let's go. Let's show Loretta that we are worthy of being in the Bobcats. Even though they changed their uniform and I think it looks kind of gross now and I like the old one, we can show them that we're cool. I kind of want to turn off the, um, the central messages because I think it's kind of annoying. I don't know why they have to be central and they can't be like below. Star Stable, that's some feedback. Uh, can we move the like place names to like just above the XP bar? That would be great, thank you. That wasn't too bad for a beginner. You and Tuxedo Time are a good team. Now, you could stay in the paddock and play it safe, riding in circles, but if you want to make a name for yourself in the Jorvik riding scene, you need to... <laughs> My accent is fluctuating. I'm not very good at voices. You're going to have to aim higher. Lesson number three, never settle for any... Oh, my accent is all over the place. Never settle for anything short of greatness. Speaking of greatness, Bartok and I have some serious competition to prepare for. My fellow club leader, Tan, can take it from here. Okay, good luck, Loretta, and your weird horse name. Okay, hi, Tan. You must be the new girl, everyone. I feel like Tan is, like, low-key bullied by Loretta sometimes. You must be the new girl everyone was talking about. My name is Tanjana, but my friends call me Ch Tan. Welcome to Jorvik. I hope Loretta didn't scare you. She can be a bit intense with the new arrivals, but she means well. She takes riding very seriously. That's why Loretta insists that the Bobcats be available to help the new riders at Moreland to train. She calls it charity work, but she has a feeling that she is secretly scouting for future Bobcats. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Now, let us talk about the races. Here on Jorvik, riding is a national pastime, so you will find no shortage of races as you explore. Practicing on race courses is a great way to train your horses each day. I'm going to let you try the blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes. Uh, no offense, Tan, but you do talk a bit much. Whee! I can't wait to get um, Sporkle. If you don't know, Sporkle is this horse, aka my logo, hence why I have to get her in the game. I think it, it's something stupid like level 15 plus or something for a Pintavian. Can I also, this is just another like complainy bit that I have. Um, I hate the new checkpoint sounds. They sound horrid and I was training on stream once and I thought it was like a ticking sound and I was sure it was like outside the game. I think they need to change it. I think it's a terrible sound. 
Okay, oh, I only got silver, but that's okay. I was going as fast as I possibly could. Right, Tan, that was quite good for your first try. You've really never ridden that horse before. It seems like you and Tuxedo Time were meant for each other. And you want to help Tuxedo Time reach their potential, you will need to train every day. Race organizers like myself will give you one daily training session that will help your horse grow. Okay, if you're feeling competitive, you can also visit the race board. And da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I know this. Um, so nice to meet you, Abigail. Enjoy your time at Moreland Stables and don't forget your training. Gosh, these guys are very training orientated. Okay, hi, Loretta. I saw you. Oh, uh, wait. I saw you over there chatting with Tan like it was some kind of moment. Don't get your hopes up. Tan is sweet with all the newcomers. And she takes our riding club just as seriously as I do and would never let just any new rider into the Bobcats. Wearing pink is something you earn by being the best you can be. Anyway, I think Justin is looking for you. Probably needs help mucking out stable or something. Better not keep him waiting. Okay, her original line was something like, he don't touch him, he's mine, or something like that, so they did change that. Uh, right, we did actually speak to Justin before, but we'll go speak to him again. Hi, Justin. I like how they've, um, sorry, I'm gonna be that annoying person and be like, oh, when I first played it, um, and I'm sorry about that, but when I did first do the kind of Moreland quests, there was scaffolding everywhere, like it was being renovated, and just seeing it now where it is, um, I think it's really nice. If you are an OG player, I would actually recommend, like, doing a full playthrough again, because you notice the differences, and it's quite nice, I have to admit. Or, if you don't want to do it yourself, watch the series, because I am an OG, and I am here to play through it again. Um, hi, Abigail. Having a good time with Tuxedo Time? Oh, <laughs> God, I needed to name that horse something different. Um, okay, thank you. Right, let's put on the green jacket. Whoa, I look so cool now. Okay, Justin. My dad, Thomas, wanted to meet you. Apparently, he wants to ask about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Kemble, a nasty boss from company, GED, is doing everything he can to evict us so he can demolish the stables and build a luxury condos. Excuse the fact that I struggle to re read for some reason. We're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's slippery as an eel. That's kind of gross. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable near Jenna. You know, the girl who showed you the square track. Yeah, I saw him. Hi, Thomas. Right, Thomas, hello. Uh, what would Tom what voice would Thomas have? Um, thank you for coming so fast, Abby. <laughs> he sounds like a Disney prince. <laughs> Okay, we're going with it. Thank you for coming so fast, Abigail. The situation with Mr. Kemble from GED is getting out of hand and I need your help. Okay. Hi, Thomas. Let's read a bit about you. He's 49. Nothing. Oh, you like Yorkshire pudding? That's kind of grossy. Don't like Yorkshire pudding. Um, nothing really interesting. And I don't want to spoil anything, so. I just heard... Oh, wait. I just heard that he has almost convinced the council that GED has the rights to the land and there is hardly any time left to stop him. Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm tr I'm the true owner of this land, but I need to time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save Morland Stables? We have to delay Mr. Kemble's surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting them up in the area outside the stable between here and the hills um, where their construction site is. I marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. Okay, one thing I'd say about this quest is it downgraded really heavily. Um, previously, I'm pretty sure you couldn't run in with your horse and you had to avoid the men walking around. But now you can just run through. And I know this for a fact because I did it all the time. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. I wish they'd, they'd continue to make it a little bit more, like, increase the stakes. Because if you watch, I can run around on my horse and just do it. Um, and, like, this guy can clearly see me doing it, but he just doesn't care. Whereas before, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that they used to reset you or, um, they'd shout something or something. Uh, but now you can literally just do it in front of them and they don't seem to care. Maybe, maybe they're just minimum wage workers and they literally do not care because they're not getting paid enough to care. Okay, Thomas, I did it. Splendid, good work. I oh wait, he's British. I forgot, uh, Thomas is British because he likes Yorkshire pudding and he says splendid, he's British. Splendid, good work, I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now I've at least got a little time to build up my case against Mr. Kemble for the council. Sorry, Thomas, I put you in an almost American accent before. 
What am I going to do, Abigail? Mr. Kemble is really putting the pressure on me with all these legal documents. I'm sure you could stop him if I had a little more time. Hmm. If he wants to play dirty, I'll show him that he has met his match. No, Thomas, you won't. I'll show him. Let's see. Um, ride past the blacksmith and up towards the hills. Along the road, there is a power distribution box where the road turns at the construction site. Well, it would be possible to turn off that horrid sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. That should buy us some time. Okie dokes. Right, flip the switch. Oh yeah, does it still do that thing where the horse talks to you when you come up here? Does it? No. <gasps> right, do you guys remember if you tried to go past here, your horse would talk to you? That was like one of the first times, like the, the first thing that you could trigger that was almost like main questy for some reason it would say like oh abigail i'm too scared we can't go there yet um and it was really strange because before that our horses hadn't talked to us it was just kind of nudged that the horses and us had like a soul bond um and that we were bonding really well but that for some reason i don't know why they added that but they've taken it away now so obviously they've kind of backtracked with it but before your horse would literally talk to you like come up as a bubble and be like no i can't go there uh, so yeah, it seems we're gunning to open Fort Pinter first. Okay, that works. Haha, -ha! I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way over here. Now I have a bit more time. Just what I needed. Now we don't have to see that horrid GED sign anymore. I mean, you kind of can still see it. It's just not lit up anymore. Thomas, you're being a little bit dramatic. All I need to do is prove that I actually own the land. Then I can stop Mr. Kemble. There is a deed in Moreland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade who lives in the castle. She doesn't actually. That's false. She doesn't live in the castle. She lives at Silverglade Manor. I can't find the documents here, but I think our old accountant, Mrs. Holdsworth, must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about our business. You can find her in the little red wooden cottage outside the stables close to the beach. Oakley dokes. Let's go talk to Mrs. Holdsworth. Stuff is our star. No, oh, I'm, oh no, I thought this dandelion was a star. I'm completely incorrect. Uh, you can see where I got that wrong though, right? It was just a hot star hiding in the thing. Never mind. Right, hello, Mrs. Holdsworth. Why, hello, oh, I can do my granny voice. Why, hello, dear. No, <laughs> I don't know why she's like 50 and British, but there you go. Um, why, hello, dear, what can I do for you? Oh no, why, hello, dear, what can I do for you? Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Morland's wife, Catherine, died in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. The paperwork was put in a, in a chest that was sent over to Catherine's father. There's a good chance that that title deed was in the chest. Her dad and Jasper... Oh, her dad is Jasper Holdbrook at... Is his name really Holdbrook? Okay, her dad is Jasper Holdbrook, and the child that was born is, of course, Justin. You'll find the old man along the road leading to Fort Pinter, close to a wall. Press M on the keyboard. No, okay, that was instructions. Press M on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck, dear. <laughs> okay, um, uh, right, so... I'm going to kind of keep track of this story because I have to admit in my uh, questing on my main account, I really haven't. I've just been questing for uh, XP. Um, so, so far, it seems the relations are Jasper is the father of um, Catherine. Catherine married Thomas. Thomas had a child with Catherine and the child was Justin, but Catherine died in childbirth. And that makes um, Jasper the grandfather. Hello, Jasper. Uh, gulp. What was his, his noise? It was like, gulp. Well, you found me. Can you leave me alone again? Oh, I'm leveled. Bah. What do I care if Morland Stables is raised to the ground? The place killed my daughter. I feel like that's completely over the top. The place did not kill your daughter. The, the place was housing your daughter and your, your son-in-law. Jasper, you are got it all turned... The plate... Oh, my goodness. Anyway, and I've hated the Morlands for the better part of 20 years. I think you can... Um, if you think you can change uh, um, that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. All right. Jeez, you were bitter, my dude. Like, I get it, but it wasn't the place. It was an unfortunate occurrence, and it happens, and... 
I'm dearly sorry for your loss, but my goodness, it was not the place's fault and it certainly wasn't the people involved. <sighs> goodness. Uh, Justin? Hi, your grandfather wants to speak to you. You know, the one that hates you? Yeah. Hi, Abigail. Oh, wait. Hi, Abigail. Have you seen my grandfather, Jasper? The crazy old man hates us and nothing would please him more than to see our stable raised to the ground. What is raised? Like, wouldn't it be like bulldozed? I don't- why raised? I don't know how I can make that old fool of grandfather change his mind. I know that my mom really did love him. Uh, love my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible tragedy. I have these letters from my mom and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realize that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Okay. Maybe you can show him? Yes. Take these letters to show Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. Will do, Justin. I'm on my way. Can I read the letters? <laughs> I like the icon. It's just like, uh, like a normal letter, but with hearts all over them. What does it say? These letters bring che tears of joy to your eyes as you've read about the beautiful love between Thomas and Catherine. Can I read them? It'd be really nice if I could read them. Apparently not. That's fine, though. Come on, tuxedo time. Let's go talk to Jasper. What, you're here again? With all the papers? Let me have a look at that. Looks really old. Like you. I recognize that handwriting. Is it true? They were really written by my daughter? Yeah, yeah they were. Can you please let me into Fort Penton now? <laughs> when I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I've been such a proud idiot all these years. And it cost me my grandson. Sob, sob. <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. <laughs> um, I have the title deed and of course I'll give it to you. Uh, to Thomas Morland. That slime ball, Mr. Kemble, is a disgrace to the island. Here's the, key to, here's the key to my deposit box in Fort Pinter. You'll find the title deed inside. Collect it and bring it back to me before... I don't know why I switched back to my normal voice there. And bring the key back to me before you say anything to Thomas Morland. From now on, you can ride across my land whenever you want. Yay, Fort Pinter's open! Jasper, I gotta be honest, it must be completely illegal for you to block people from using the road through your property because... That's just illegal. Fort Pinter, this is one of the prettiest places because of these lantern things. I think they're just... I love fairy lights. I have such a soft spot for fairy lights. And any place that has fairy lights and flowers, I'm in love with. That's why I really like the beach as well. It has, um, I think the beach is, if you go down to the beach, you can hear wind chimes and you can hear like the rustling and it's just really good. You need to, to spend some time there. Uh, oh yes, I need to use the key. Sorry, I opened my map. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I have the box? Yeah, so the series, um, I want to do a lot of questing on my own, but I want to, to, to showcase the, the interesting quests, the, specifically the starter quests, interesting quests, like, unlocking stuff, um, and, uh, like, the kind of main story quests as well, I want to do those, but the kind of reputation quest, the kind of side mission stuff, I'm not really interested in showing too much, so I'll be doing those on my own. Rightio. Hello, Jasper. Here's your key. Thanks for getting the title deed. Those are the old legal documents that, that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moreland Stables. And you brought my key back too. Great, thank you. Thanks once again. Gosh, you're so nice. Uh, documents of Thomas? Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm after 20 years in the cold. Young lady, I give you this title deed to Moreland Stables and you certainly have earned it. Thomas will definitely- Oh, I shouldn't have clicked. Sorry. Oh, I got pants! Thank you, Jasper. Uh, what's your other one? Young lady, would you possibly do a grumpy man an old favour? You could take these letters and this amulet that belonged to Catherine, Justin's mother, and give them to him? Tell him what you have done, that, and that I want to see him as soon as possible. It may not be much, but at least it's an attempt to try and start repaying 20 years of bitterness. And, uh, and a way of an, this old fool to say sorry. Oh, that's quite sweet. Ew, what was that top we're getting? Oh, it's a crop top, but the... The thing makes it look weird. Okay, the top looked really gross. Oh, Abigail, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This feud has been going on far too long and it's finally come to an end, all thanks to you. There will be a very special friend to us here at Morland Stables. Thank you. Thanks, Mort Justin. Oh, you're so cute. Um, oh, this isn't the top. Ew, it's kind of a gross top. Don't like it. Uh, Justin, here's, not Justin, Thomas, here is your stuff. Holy horses, you stay, save the stables from demolition. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moreland Stables, and it's all thanks to you. 
I will show this to the council and then Mr. Kemble will have no choice but to stop construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Could you maybe let me keep my horse? That could be really nice of you. I have some fantastic news. I noticed that you great hand with tuxedo time and I took the liberty. Oh, I got it! Uh, and I took the, the liberty of speaking with the owners. They moved from Jorvik a couple years ago and now live on the other side of the world. Okay, <laughs> they will probably not be back to Jorvik for many, many years. I've told them about how you, how great you and Tuxedo Time are together, and even though you, they love Tuxedo Time, they're willing to sell you. Okay, I thought it was going to be like, what if they come back? Okay, only three hundred Jorvik shillings. It's a great pi price and a fantastic opportunity. I understand that you may that you don't have that much money yet, but don't worry. There are many things. Uh, oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, minus 300 shillings. Oh, I'm only 70 off. I want to end the episode <clears throat> by, um, uh, actually, uh, words. Okay, sell. Oh, that's more than enough. Okay, awesome. I completely cheated the system. Let's get these swanky pants on as well. Oh, I look so cool. Right, Thomas, I have the stuff now. This is fantastic. The past um, owners will be in overjoyed to know that Tuxedo Time will be taken good care of. I am proud of you, Abigail. Oh, I just said my own name really weirdly. I don't like that. Um, work hard and and determinate work. Hard work and determination always pays off in the long run. See you soon. I own Tuxedo Time. I own Tuxedo Time. Okay, well that was quite a long episode for the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna stop now. So I am going to. Can you maybe not? Okay. I am going to be spending a little bit of time doing the side quest. I think from now, um, I'm going to be jotting down stuff that happens while I'm doing the quest so that I can do a little bit of a recap for you guys. I'm not going to do it presentation style like this episode. Um, but next episode, I wish to continue with the storyline, um, unlock more of Silverglade and Moorland and start on unlocking the Harvest Countries, which I'm very excited for. Um, I don't know if this series is going to work or not. I genuinely don't. This is the first time I'm doing a Star Stable series that isn't like edited necessarily. That's more about what I'm doing in game. Uh, but I'm excited for it. And uh, I hope you guys are, are enjoying it as well. Any sort of feedback is very much appreciated. Please let me know in the comments if you have um, questions, queries, anything you'd like me to do or not do. Please do let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!